In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your downstream oxygen sensor, so one that goes after the main catalytic converter onto the pipe into the car underneath. Let's get started. Now from underneath the car, let's remove the O2 sensor off of the exhaust pipe. So you'll need an oxygen sensor socket. You can use a 22 millimeter wrench, but it's most likely going to round it off because these are often very tight and basically stuck on there from years of heat cycles. So I recommend an oxygen sensor socket like this. You can use the tubular kind if that's what you have. Once you get the socket on there fully seated, just pull on it. Okay, it should break free. Sometimes you might have to use a little bit of heat around here to heat up the threads. And once it's broken free, I'm going to use a 22 millimeter wrench to finish getting it off of there. I sprayed some rust penetrant in here, just a tiny bit to work it into the threads, hopefully help it slide out a little easier. And there we go. There's the O2 sensor. Now take your oxygen sensor. As you can see, there's a little bit of anisees on it. That should help it not just slide in a little bit better and thread on smooth, but also it'll hopefully prevent it from getting stuck in the future. So it's important that you don't wipe that off. Now that it's bottomed out, grab your oxygen sensor socket and just tighten this up. It's perfect right there. There's a little gasket there and all you want to do is just squeeze it down a little bit. That's what's going to create your nice watertight seal. Now let's pop this rubber grommet off so we can put the new sensor through and take the new sensor out. So once this is popped off, let's go inside the vehicle and uh, unplug the connector. We'll have to dig under the carpet for it. Now coming through the passenger side and you'll see that right here where there's a little opening in the carpet, there's a push clip that you can push or pull away. And if you peel it back, that right there is the connector for the oxygen sensor, which is exactly what we need to disconnect. I am, however, going to keep pulling this carpet back because we need to follow the wire all the way down until it goes through the floor. Pull this back. Right there is the sensor. Right there is that grommet that I already popped off. So let's unplug the connector. There's a tab underneath that you have to press down. Once you press on that, the connector should slide out. There we go. And because the grommet's already popped off, you can send it right down through the floor. Take the new one bring it up and since I'm down here I'm going to push this rubber gasket through and now with this pushed through we can push it back down slightly this lip here has to seal up against the floor obviously let's clean up some of this debris here okay so that's sealed up let's route the wire now grab the wire turn it the right way Clip it in, and now let's put the carpet back. Get this carpet resituated, fold it back into place. Over here, make sure you tuck it all underneath this plastic so it can be secured. And let's put this clip back that secures the carpet over here. And there you have it. Now just turn the car on and make sure everything runs smoothly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.